Aloha Onefinity users. I just wanted to post a quick video on um, some changes that I made to my drag chains due to EMI. Uh, but before we do that, just wanted to show you I resurfaced my spoil board. I put some lines on it two inches apart, just uh, engraved in with a 60 degree V-bit. And then I used my DrawBot to draw this logo on here with a felt marker. If you want to know more about my DrawBot, it just attaches to the front here and um, I've got a separate video for that. Uh, maybe I'll put a link in this video all about that. I also added um, some wiper, uh, rail wipers here and um, the worm gear wipers. These are all um, printed in TPU. I got those on Etsy from uh, Borg. Uh, really awesome design. I, I recommend uh, that you put those on just to keep the dust off of all of the functioning parts there. Anyway, just put those on and I thought uh, I'd just show those to you there. All right, EMI, what is EMI? EMI is electromagnetic interference and that's often caused by a high current wire like the power cord for this uh, Makita router traveling near lower power wires like the stepper motors have here and it is magnetic interference that's created in this wire that can wreak havoc with signals um, to your stepper motors. Now, I've never had a problem with this, but um, other people have, so I wanted to avoid any um, problems in the future. So I'll just show you what I did to uh, remedy that. So I'll just grab my remote here and uh, bring this guy forward. Now originally I have a drag I had a drag chain at the top here for my X rail and then a drag chain way over here that's for my Y rail and I had everything running through there. So I had uh, the power cord, uh, the Z stepper wire going through here. It was actually flipped around. It was going the other way and I'll go around to the back and show you what I mean by that. So this drag chain here was going the other way so the the wires were going in there and then coming out to this elbow here, which goes into uh, the Y-axis uh, drag chain. So they were all running together. And um, to avoid any EMI in the future, um, I wanted to isolate my power cord. So what I did is I took the elbow and I mirrored it. So these um, 3D printed files I got off uh, YouTube from Kevin M, really great design. I'll put a link in the description for those. And so I mirrored that in Cura and I put one on this side. So I flipped this drag chain around and all I have is the power cord coming through here. And I've got a ferrite core in here too to help reduce um, noise. And then it comes down here, across to here. And then I bought another drag chain, another Y drag chain just for the power uh, cord. So I mirrored the Y brackets here with the channels, the aluminum channels. So it comes down here, through here, comes underneath, along there, and then the power cord just sticks out here at the back. And you can plug this into a separate uh, circuit in your shop so that uh, it's not running off the same thing as your controller. And I also moved my vacuum hose uh, so it's coming out on the opposite end of the controller as well. So hopefully all of that will reduce um, any kind of interference that I might have in the future. So that's my new setup and I, for my Z-axis I just went back to this coiled wire here that came with the unit and um, I just 3D printed a few little brackets here to hold everything together and so far it's working. So. Uh, that's my new setup. Anyways, if that can help some people, um, then that's awesome. And uh, I'd just like to say mahalo for watching and have a great day.